What's up guys, my name is Elias and in today's Subliful tutorial I'm going to show you how to actually use Subliful to dropship. Now Subliful in my opinion is the go-to place when it comes to private labeling and essentially dropshipping all sorts of different supplements. Subliful does have a variety of different products, I think over 120 and you're definitely going to find the product that you want to sell. They are going to have ashwagandha, creatine and also more niche stuff like beetroot, birch, chaga, micro, either way they are most likely going to have the product that you want to drop ship. Now to get started I will actually leave you a link to Subliful down below. Just make sure to actually create yourself an account and once you have registered this is how the dashboard is going to look like. Now right here you're then once again going to see an overview of all of the different products as well as with an actual price statement how much the product is going to cost and an estimated basically amount of money which you could actually sell this product for. In this case this would be $19 and the potential profit for this product then would be $7.40. Obviously you can also customize to this to your likings. You can always change the price that you are actually going to sell the supplement for later on. So to get started we will actually have to select uh, basically a product that we want to dropship. Let me just show you this. They are going to have basically anything you could dream of. As for this tutorial I guess we are just going to go for creatine. So I'm now going to look for creatine and now they are going to give me a variety of different options that are also going to have creatine inside it. So for example they do have normal creatine monohydrate as well as nitric shock pre-workout powders which is also going to actually include creatine. As for the other ones I think that this doesn't really have creatine in it. This is just in the description. So actually I'm just going to use this normal creatine monohydrate right here. We are going to see the regular price that we are actually going to um, I guess have to pay for this. Yeah and then we are also going to see the subscription price. Now more on that later on Subliful does also offer subscriptions and I will actually get in depth later on if it's actually worth it to go for a subscription or not. Now you're then going to see the suggested retail price as well as the potential, uh, potential profit right here. Now when it comes to the actual product right here on the left you are going to see an overview with the different kind of mockups which we can also later on use with our own, own design and we are then also going to see where this product actually ships to. Now in this case this is going to ship to all of the destinations however still there are some countries which aren't going to be included with this and also for some other products this is actually only going to ship for in, for example inside the US or only going to ship inside Canada so it is really important to beforehand actually look at this to make sure that your product is actually sellable to your audience. Now in this case let's just say it is and let's now actually continue by actually customizing and selling this creatine monohydrate. So I'm just going to click on here and now this is going to open up the actual editor of this product where we can then customize this to our likings. So first of all we can actually change the title. I will change this to creatine powder 3000. I'm just making this up obviously and um, you would have to customize this depending on your brand depending on what's your brand called and they ba basically you will just have to customize this um, to your own likings. You can then actually also change up the description. I would however recommend you to just leave in the basic ingredients right here. This is actually going to be needed by law so make sure to don't mess around with this too much and then you are also going to have the general description right here um, which you can actually change up and which you can actually customize customized to your likings. You are also going to have two icons in this case. So creatine is going to be lactose free as well as corn free. Perfect. I'm just going to save this for now. Um, obviously you would have to go through this once again and if you would now actually want to change the price you could do so right here. So in my case I'm just going to change this to 39.90. I'm then just going to save this. And now actually we can get started with customizing and actually publishing our product. It's as easy as that. First of all we will have to actually customize the label that is going to be shown right here. Now we are going to have 
three different options for this. One is going to be free, one is going to be semi-paid, and one is going to be completely done for you paid. Let me actually show you each of these. First of all, we do have Canva. This is going to be completely free, and this is also going to be the easy option. Then we are going to have Adobe Illustrator. Now this, most of the time, is going to be for more advanced people. So most likely you are only going to select this if you are a designer yourself or if you have a designer in your team. And then they also do offer a done for you service. Now I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. However, still, I think this is actually a great way of getting a super professional, super clean um, label for your product. And this can really help with the branding. And I think also the price isn't really too much for this. You are going to have $200 uh, for a one-time payment. And then you are going to get a custom design concept, which you can then actually use for up to five products with a five-day turnaround and one design revision. This is pretty good. Alternatively, you can actually also get a Shopify store design, a brand accelerator thing right here. However, I wouldn't recommend you to actually get this. All of the things on the Shopify side, you can easily customize yourself. The only thing that I think is somewhat useful would be this label designs option right here. As you can see, they basically do create pretty good looking labels in my opinion. Um, however, you can, you can obviously also create this on your own. And let me now show you how to exactly do that. To do so, either open up the Canva editor or Adobe Illustrator. In my case, I'm going to continue with Canva. And now we are going to have a template right here. So to now edit this, just click on use template for new design. And now this is going to open up in the Canva editor. To get started, I will actually delete the default logo, which they do have available right here. However, obviously you could also just customize the text um, right here inside this logo. However, let's be honest, this doesn't really look professional. So I'm just going to delete this altogether and we are going to go, we are basically going to start somewhat from scratch. If you do want to actually get started, cut, cut. If you do want to customize, if you do want to design this completely from scratch, you can do so by basically deleting all of the things right here and you can then actually get started. However, make sure to actually always include the supplement facts and or actually also include the suggested use and caution disclaimers right here. In my case, I'm just going to continue by actually changing up the title of our product. So in, in this case, this would be creatine powder 3000, I think. And we can then actually uh, change this subheading right here to 100% pure creatine monohydrate. Okay, let's actually change up the spacing a bit. Let's, for example, make this a little bit more in the middle. And then I'm going to, then I'm going to add a break right here. Perfect. We can now we can now actually also change the font of this. So let's for example make this a little bigger and let's now actually see yeah maybe something like this. Yeah, I guess something like this would work. Obviously, you would have to further customize this depending on your own likings. Now, what I now like to do is to head over to a website called Flat Icons. This is completely free to use and I'm just going to look for muscle right here and this is now basically going to uh, give me an overview of all sorts of different muscles icons let's for example go for this one i'm just going to download this now we do have this downloaded we can head back to our canva design and we can then actually also just insert this onto right here so let me now just resize this perfect and then we are going to have uh, i guess a logo for this and um, we can actually then also further customize this by changing the color of this text which i'm quickly going to do i'm now simply just going to use the color picker on here to actually match the color of this icon so i'm just going to repeat this process with this second text right here now this is going to be saved and now we do have a somewhat customized and somewhat good looking label for our product Obviously, you can also further customize this by changing the background, for example. You can actually also make this, I guess, a little bit more interesting by basically i would recommend you to actually spend some more time on actually customizing the label as this is going to be one of the key ways of actually improving your brand identity and of actually improving your conversion rate with a better design 
So in this case, I'm just going to leave it at the default. What we will now have to do is click on share right here and then make sure to download this. However, not as a PNG, make, make sure to actually change this to PDF standard or you can actually also change this to PDF print. I guess the quality is going to be a little bit be better for that. And now we do have this downloaded right here. We can now head back to our actual Subleful dashboard and we will then have to upload the label of our product. So I've now uploaded my product label and this is now actually going to regenerate the product mockups so that we can actually then use these product mockups for our own product with our own design. So now the mockups got generated. As you can see, these mockups, I think, generally look great and you are going to have to design on there in a realistic way. However, as you can see, for these mockups, we are actually going to have the Subliffle branding. Um, to actually use these, we would have to go for a paid plan. And let's now discuss the question is if it's actually worth it to go for a paid plan. Now, as you can see, these are going to be the three different plans. First of all, if you aren't an established business, I wouldn't recommend you to go for the creator plan as this isn't really going to give you much more than in the starter plan. Either way, as for the free plan, you are going to basically have the help center and email support, one store integration. And now as for the starter plan, basically this is going to be the plan that you would have to pay for to first of all get additional product mockups. However, actually you are also going to get up to 15% of discounts on different kind of products, which in my opinion is actually really worth it. So if you want to take this serious, I think this could be a good option because if you are only going to make around $500 worth of products every month, this is already worth it. Now, actually, this is also additionally going to give you live customer support. And um, however, I think this isn't really one of the key purchase. Um, I, I think this isn't really worth it if you just want to go for the starter plan because of this. Either way, let's now continue with actually um, basically uploading and pushing your product onto Shopify. To do so, you will have to actually set up your store. Now, this is going to be super straightforward. Subliful, as of right now, does only offer Shopify. But either way, Shopify is the best option out there when it comes to an e-commerce website builder. And if you haven't already signed up to Shopify, I will leave you a link to a free trial in the description down below. I'm just going to click on here and now this is going to open up the Shopify Subliful app, which we will just have to install to actually automatically connect our Subliful dashboard onto Shopify. So I'm just going to install this and within a couple of seconds, this now successfully should be connected. We can then actually also connect a TikTok shop account. And um, if we do want to, in my case, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm rather going to click on my products right here. And now we are going to have the option to actually right here change the status of our product to let's actually wait for this to load up so right now we can then actually right here publish this product before doing so we can actually also order samples if we do want to right here as you can see we will just have to order these products and we can then actually put in the shipping information and so on I'm not going to do this right now as this would be just an example store. In my case, I'm just going to publish this to Shopify, uh, Shopify right now. So as you can see, this is now going to update the product. And within a couple of seconds, this now actually has been published. If I'm now going to head over to Shopify, I can, I can quickly refresh my site right here. And this, as you can see right now, is going to be visible on my store. I can now actually check out the preview. And this is basically going to be how we have set up beforehand. Obviously, I would recommend you to now actually once again customize this, change up the product page and so on. But that's basically it when it comes to actually dropshipping with Subliful. If you found this video helpful, Helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.